So recently we talked about comparators, which basically are systems that have two output states depending on two different values being larger, the relative size of two different values. This sort of leads to digital electronics where we have two output states. And those output states are often used to represent binary numbers. So the op amp the, the, is one, and those could be, we saw before, VCC or VEE. We might also have some voltage, VCC or zero. But basically, we have two different output voltages, and we use those to represent, if you will, on off. 1, 0, yes, no, basically a two-state sort of output. And the typical one is a 1 or a 0, which are binary digits. And that's sort of the basis of a computer. So in binary, we count up to 2. So in, in base 10, we count up 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we get a 10s digit and a 0, 11, 12, in binary, we're going to do it at 2. So we're going to go 0, 1, and then we're going to go to 1, 0, 1, 1, and then keep going. So let me just write down base 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And in binary, 1, 2. So there's the 0, there's a 1. 2 is 0, 0, 1, 2, and 0, 1s. 3 is going to be a 2 and a 1. So 1, 2, and 1, 1. That makes 3. A 4 is going to be a 4. No 2s and no 1s. 5 is going to be the 4 and a 1. 6 is going to be a 4 and a 2. 7 is going to be 1, 1, 1, so, so forth. We can keep going, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So an 8, it's going to be the 8 digit. 1, 8, no 4s, no 2s, no 1s. A 9 is an 8 and a 1. A 10 is an 8 and a 2. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So four binary bits here, we can count from 0 to 15. That's how we count in binary. And we can do addition in binary. So if you go back 7 plus 5, base 10 is 12. If we do 7, that's 0, 1, 1, 1. From here, plus 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. And now we need to think back to second grade when we learned how to add two numbers and how to carry things. So we start here. A 1 plus a 1, well, that's a 2. But in base 2, the 2 carries. So it's no 1s, and we carry a 2. 1 plus 1, we're going to get a 0. We're going to carry it. 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's a 3. So that's going to give us 1, 1. So we get 1, 1, 0, 0. And we believe that should be 12. And there's 12, 1, 1, 0, 0. So that works just fine. We can add numbers just like we did in second grade, all zeros and ones. And we can represent those zeros and ones with voltage levels in, in digital circuitry. We can also represent negative numbers. And the way we do that is we take the most significant bit here, the one that's the highest, and we don't make it represent a a power of 2, but we have it represent the sign. If it's 0, we have a positive number. If it's 1, it's a negative number. And we do a, something a little bit different here because it makes addition easier. We do something times 2 called 2's complement. So if we wanted to do, let's say we have 6, which is, take it 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. To get minus 6, we're going to take that 6, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn all the one, zeros into 1s and the 1s into zeros. So we're going to write down 1, 0, 0, 1. And then we're going to add 1 to it. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to add 1. So that's going to make it a 1, 0, 
1, 0. And we're going to say that is minus 6. That's going to represent minus 6 in binary. We can check to make sure it really does represent minus 6 by adding those. 6 plus minus 6 had better be 0. So 6, 0, 1, 1, 0. And minus 6, 1, 0, 1, 0. We get a 0. 1 and 1, 0. Carry. 1 and 1, 0. Carry. 1 and 1 is 0 and carry, but there's nothing here. We don't, we don't have that bit, so all we get is 0. We throw that into the bit bucket, so 6 plus minus 6 is 0. So on a computer, that's a very good way to represent minus negative numbers. The other thing we will do with this is we'll do logic. And sort of the first thing we already talked about, how we got the negative number, is something like a, call it a not or a complement. And it's an operation that turns 1 into 0 and 0 into 1. And it has a circuit symbol that looks like this. And we're going to write down something called a truth table. So we have an input A and an output Q and A and Q. A can be 0 or 1, and the output is going to be 1 or 0. So that's the truth table for a complement. Here's the two inputs. There's the corresponding outputs. So that's the simplest one, the complement or the not. We can do an AND, which has two inputs. So I'll give you the symbol first. A and B and Q. And Q is high if both A and B are high. So A, B, Q. Truth table for this, we can have both A and B zero. Neither are high, so the output's going to be low. A could be high, B could be low. They're not both high. A could be low, B could be high. They're not both high, so we get a zero. Or they can both be high, and we get a one. So there's the truth table for an AND. Two inputs. If both of them are 1, the output's 1. Otherwise, it's 0. Related to the AND is a NOT AND, or NAND. And its symbol is a NOT on the end of that. So we have A, B, and Q. And it just takes the complement of the output. So this was the AND. The NAND output is simply going to be the complement of that. So 1, 1, 1, and 0. So that's also a useful thing here. The NOT AND gives a different output on the truth table. There's also a logical OR, which has a symbol A and B. And Q is high if at least one input is high. So we have two inputs. Truth table A, B, Q. Zero, zero. Neither input is high, so the output is low. A is high, B is low. At least one is high, so we get a high. 0, 1, at least 1 is high, and at least 1 is high, they're both high. So there's the output of the logical OR, somewhat different from the, from the logical AND. There is a NOR, which is the, as you can well guess, the symbol. It's the OR symbol with a dot. So there's the OR. The NOR is the complement of that. So it's going to give us 1, 0, 0, 0 for outputs. There's the OR, the NOR gate. There's one other type of OR, which is called an exclusive OR, or 
XOR has a symbol that looks like this. And the output is high if exactly one input is high. So A, B, Q, 0, 0, no inputs are high. 1, 0, exactly 1 is high. 0, 1, exactly 1 is high. Two of them are high, so that gives us a 0 as an output. So there's the truth table. That's the X or. There's an X nor, exclusive nor, which is the complement, 1, 0, 0, 1. So those are the basic logic units. And when we're, doing with, when we're working with digital electronics, these are actually built into integrated circuits, so we'll have integrated circuits with A and B and Q output and do logical operations on them.